We're going to have a look at the Helltech MeshNode T114, which has been released recently. This one runs off the NRF52840, so it's similar to the Lilygo T Echo or the Rack Wireless Meshtastic devices. So these are very low power consumption uh, Meshtastic devices. Uh, they have a number of options available. Um, they sell the board by itself. Um, they sell the board with a screen and GPS module as well. And they also sell the case. So the case is quite good, um, especially if you don't have a 3D printer. So you can pretty much just get the kit and all you need to do is get a battery. Um, it's injection molded, so it's quite strong. And when I was doing some test fitting, um, I measured it and I think it's about 30 millimeters by roughly 40. It's the space you have to play with. So I quickly 3D printed this and it fits fine. So when I did a test fit with actual board as well, this fit fine. So this is eight millimeters by 30 by 40. So if you want to get a battery and you want to use the case from Heltic, you want to get a 80, 30, 40. Um, so it's about 1000 milliamp hours um, and that should fit perfectly in there. So if you want to buy a battery for it, just get an 80, 30, 40. This is just the one I've built recently. Uh, so I just built it today. Um, is it Muzi Works has um, designed this case for the T114. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have the battery, um, the right battery for it. So I had, I had to do a remix of the case um, and make it a bit bigger um, and take away some of the things that were hitting my battery essentially. So you'll see in my one, I don't actually have the battery connectors. So I've had to desolder those and also the, the solar connector. So if you want to um, print MusiWorks case and you want to get a battery for it, I think he uses uh, 803160, which is a 2200 milliamp hour battery. Um, I think he also sells kits um, on his website and I think he also sells the fully assembled um, devices. So if you don't have a 3D printer um, or you just want something that's already pre-made, um, you can go that route and just get it from his website. So this is what I've done to my one. Um, you'll notice that it's actually got two additional buttons. So this is for canned messaging. Um, so it's, I'll just show you how I've wired it up. So essentially each push button has a ground, so it just goes to ground, and then it's just connected to two of the GPI pins. I think it's uh, 13 and 16. I've also added um, a vibration motor over here. Um, so when I receive messages, I'll just do a little vibration. Sort of just done it for fun. Out a bit. So yeah, so these are just the, the the parts that I've used. So I've used a transistor for the vibration motor and just a standard push button. So if you want me to upload the STL for it, just let me know in the comments and I can whip something up and I'll put it on printables. So this one, because it's using a different battery, um, I won't actually upload this because it's, yeah, it's just a little bit different to what's available. And this up top here is just the GPS module. Um, another thing to keep in mind is if you print the case yourself, you're also going to have to get the um, SMA connector. That's a straight one. 
because the one that comes in with the Helltech is it's a 90 degree one, so that won't work. Um, so some other adjustments I've done to the case is I've also made the hole a bit deeper. So before it was a bit too shallow. So I used an M3 um, screw. Um, so it goes, so it sits in a bit deeper. So let's put it together. Um, the case that he's designed is really good. Just make sure there's nothing in the way. And it should all snap together. So yeah, with the M3 uh, screw, it, it holds the case very well. That's it there. So you can scroll through as normal. Um, if I press this button here, I'll come up with all the canned messaging that I've saved and you can scroll through it. Let's see if it works. If I press this button it should send So yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Um, I've been having a little bit of issues with the can messaging, so I don't know if it's a, the firmware. Um, so just because it is quite new, maybe it's just got to do with the firmware because I've got the same setup on my V3 here and it works pretty well. So if I send a message to So you can just hear it, um, the vibration motor going. Yeah, that's just a quick look at the new um, Heltec T114 um, and just a case that I've printed out. So yeah, the Muzi Works um, case, I'll put a link to it and you can have a look at it there. And I think he's got links to purchase it from him as well. So. The new um, T114, it looks quite pro promising. Um, I think it's quite new, so the firmware is probably going to get updated um, pretty regularly. So I'd definitely recommend checking it out if you want to look into mesh-tastic devices. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.